part of my walk. It's actually a very beautiful day. This connects up with this cute little stream up here called Browns Creek. And that's what I end up walking. And part of my five miles of getting out into nature, yes, we have cars. Yes, I'm still in my development. But Browns Creek is right over there. It's probably flowing underneath ice right now. But this is part of Stillwater, Minnesota. It's my little piece of heaven over here. So you won't be able to see the flowing water. It's over there, actually. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good video of it over here. But right over there, maybe I can get, you can see a little bit of it right there. There's part of the creek. And I think it flows underneath the highway over here. So, so yeah. So, here it is. Beautiful. I don't usually see a lot of animals over here. Um, you'll see bunny tracks and squirrel, squirrel tracks. But other than that, um, not much of the nature. But we do have a lot of hikers with dogs and runners and we do get our uh, fat tire bikers and, you know, snowshoers. So Stillwater's a pretty active community. So in the back of our development, um, the developers, Lennar, have this whole green area for us. So I'm very, very blessed. I'll get back to you in a second as I continue my five mile hike. Um, see you in a little walking bit. Walking for about oh, about a mile right now, and it's just lovely out, and it's very quiet in our development. This is what's behind me, so that you can see me. And I don't know how to do selfies on videos, so I have nowhere to look and goofiness. But hey, I'm doing it. At age 63, I'm trying to break free of all the limits I've put on myself of what you can and can't do at age 63 and going, you know, being told you're a senior citizen and getting ready for Medicare and Medicaid and blah, 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 blah. And instead, I wanna go boldly into my future. So my nature walking is really, really important. And I wish I could figure this out better and, you know, not look so tired, but I've been up since 4 a.m. and enjoying all of this, but yeah. This, my friends, is just lovely. It's lovely. We have animal tracks, but the snow just glistens. Probably can't see it because it's a gray day, but it just glistens. And this is what refreshes my soul and gets me up in the morning and dancing and doing my barefoot dancing in the morning. And we're still in the development right here. So, you know, I'm very thankful for this. A little piece of God's country in the middle of a, a thriving suburbia. You can see the start of the opening of the Browns Creek right here. It's lovely. I don't know if you're able to hear. It's very quiet. The wind is lightly blowing. We've got a really nice um, park system and trail system in Minnesota for bikers, hikers, cross-country skiers, horseback riding. And I'm going through some slush right now. Not good for my mukluks, but it's lovely. It's lovely. I'll keep showing pictures and hopefully you can see more of the stream. But it sounds delicious. what moving 
water does for my spirit and my soul, but there's a healing that takes place in this calmness. I love to walk this almost every day because this is kind of like a little gift to all of us in Washington County. It's lovely. And like I, this is our hiking, biking, rollerblading, not horseback riding path. But this is what I walk almost every day. Here's the other side. And hopefully I'll be showing you different versions of the creek as it goes down the, the trail. And what I ask myself every day is what floats my boat? What makes my heart sing? What gets me up in the morning at 63 to start all over again sometimes? And one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I got a wonderful message from a Facebook friend. I'm not sure if I've ever met her, but she's an artist, photographer, and she encouraged me to write a book, to expand my website, and to do more with my positive encouragements, my positive pictures, the love that I have of my students, and the love I have for my family. And so I'm setting, I'm putting this on my hike today. It's really kind of a walk because it's slippery. This is kind of icy. I know it's really dreary, but it's, it's just beautiful out. 30 degrees, had a snowfall the last two days. But what makes your heart sing? If you're not doing it, sit down and think of all the things that you love and write them down. Figure out, mine is horses. Mine is being out in nature. I know I'm in the city, but I find nature wherever I can. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful here. We've got the St. Croix River with the bridge. We've got two bridges. And think about that today. When I think of the hundreds of years, and here's our little stream again, it just follows me as I walk, is what makes my heart sing. And please, if you want to share it with me, think about that, write it down. If you have a book that needs to be written, I have people, I have contacts who can make books. In fact, Joe has a little bookmaker, my husband. He's an inventor. Every day he wakes up with something new as an inventor. That makes his heart sing. Every day I get up ready to go to be with the horses, whether it's with my students' horses or whether it's with my own. And then now I'm going to be hopefully writing my story because it could be interesting. You, you guys will be the ones who let me know if it is or not. But enjoy this little nature walk. I'll get back to you soon. Maybe you can hear the Babbling Creek right here. I just love that sound. This is poetry to me. It is grace. I'm not sure what's down there, but you can hear the beauty of it. And I love that sound. It gives me such peace. Parts of the Browns Creek. It's lovely. I named Rio, who came to me as Rowdy, my 17 going on 18 year old Welsh quarter horse. And I named him Rio as a flowing stream, as a little flowing stream, powerful and mighty which he is. And this is beautiful. You can see 
This was frozen over just the other day. You can see the snow that is caving in right here as the stream carves its way through the snowbank right there. And this is kind of a famous landmark right here. It is our little covered little bridge and it's very old and hopefully you can see it goes over the stream and I just think during the summer it is lovely but this is magnificent this is where I find God in the silence and in the majesty of nature in its simplicity in all of its splendor and all of its rage and all of its calmness it cries out for us to be its stewards as the animals cry out for us to be its stu their stewards also but this is beauty enjoy this i hope you can hear the babbling of Browns Creek. So as a part of Stillwater, we've got the bridge that you can hear the cars going over. And we also have graffiti. I guess people feel that graffiti adds their own little place in history with their trademarks with what they think, I guess, is beautiful, which I kind of think is not so beautiful, but who am I to say, you know? But this is where I walk every day. And even with the graffiti that is kind of frozen over right now, um, you can see one man's artistry is another's eyesore, I guess.